Hey, Lauren Hughes here. Let's chat buyer's remorse. It, uh, latest study that came out that said 67% of people are regretting the home purchase that they had within the last year, which is really high and really upsetting to me as a realtor and an investor because, well, who wants to make, who wants to regret their biggest investment that they make in their life? So there's a few things that I've been doing with my clients that have really helped reduce that buyer's remorse. One, it's going in prepared. And the thing is, if you've bought and sold a lot throughout your entire life, this market is different than I have ever seen. And even people that have been in it, my father-in-law, 50 years, it's different and it's changed. And so right now I actually have a buyer's presentation that I like all my buyers to have. And it's just like 17 slides about what the heck is going on in this market and how to succeed. So I think knowledge is power, being prepared for what's gonna happen in this market. Two, setting limits and setting boundaries. And that's to help because emotions are gonna drive this purchase, right? It's your home, it's the biggest purchase you're gonna make and it's your home, it's emotional. So you have to set emotional boundaries because you're not gonna get every house. So it, it's gonna hurt if you fall in love with every house you see. I mean, it's great that you fall in love with your house, but there's a chance you're not going to get it. And so I think emotional boundaries are good to be set at the beginning and also have an agent that can, you need to use a lot more data than you, you used to because you don't want to overpay for something and then regret it. And I think that's one of the biggest forms of regret is people are overpaying for something that they didn't even realize that they were pay, overpaying for, or I'm not, you know, I'm not sure what, but set those emotional boundaries and also understand, I think the biggest thing is just understanding this market and understanding that you're probably not going to get the first house and if you go in at putting starting in bids at a house you have to have your limits and then that prevents you from getting into an emotional bidding war and creating this escalation clause that's only going to bite you in the bum behind um, at the end of the day so make sure you know what you're doing and also work with an agent that isn't going to gaslight you because that it's an emotional decision, you don't need gas on those emotions. And I see that a lot right now. And I think that's also what's attributing to some of the bidding wars that we're getting into. And I don't know, I'm not a bidding war person. I'm a, hey, there's probably 500 more houses that can, will you know, fit the bill and I'll just find another house. What's nice about the Denver metro area, 99% of the houses, they were mass produced by similar builders. So there's gonna be more houses. So unless it's an ultra unique house in Boulder or in Denver, you know, there will be another house. And I think that knowing those things going up front can save you from that buyer's remorse and making sure that you have an agent that isn't gonna gaslight you or doesn't wanna just write one offer and then be done and get their commission. We have to work harder right now and that's just, just the nature of the beast. So if you guys ever have any questions or concerns or anything, my door is always open.